My question is to the Prime Minister. Last night at Senate Estimates, the Prime Minister's department confirmed he has a 100 megabits per second NBN connection at his Point Piper mansion. Why does the Prime Minister get a 100 megabits NBN connection to his Point Piper mansion when three quarters of premises on his copper NBN can't get that speed? Why is it always one rule for this born-to-rule Prime Minister and another for Australians? Members on my left, the Prime Minister has the call. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the, uh, there are 1.4 million premises in Australia which are able to get an NBN service on the hybrid fibre coax network built by Telstra and taken over by the NBN. Uh, 411,000 of Kingston. them are active. The member for Kingston is warned. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I just uh, remind honourable members opposite, uh, for example, the, uh, the Leader of the Opposition in Avondale Heights, in his electorate, there are more than 2,000 premises connected to the NBN on the HFC. In the electorate of Watson, there's 2,000 premises electorate, and uh, in the electorate of McMahon, there's 4,000 connected. All of those premises connected to HFC uh, are able to get a 100 megabit per second product uh, from the NBN, and in fact, uh, if they were on the Telstra network, they should have been able to get a 100 megabit per second product uh, under when before the NBN took over the network. The reality is, Mr. Speaker that 7.2 million homes and businesses are in areas where the NBN has been switched on. There are over 3.5 million premises currently connected. By 2020, Australia will be the first country of our size to make broadband access universal. Now, as I said in my earlier answer, Mr Speaker, there, we are connecting more premises a month than Labor did in, uh, in, a, in six years. In fact, there were over 59,000 new active services in the past fortnight alone, compared to 51,000 in total under Labor. Now we know what Labor is. We know what the leader of the opposition is trying to do. He's trying to run his politics of envy, his sort of his sort of faux class war. Of course, you Member know, for Gordon. The, uh, you, you should. Anyone that, uh, anyone that wants to know what a fake he is as a class warrior only has to watch the video of his address to the CFMEU workers at Oakey, Mr Speaker. There, there he is, Mr Speaker, the great imposter, complaining about an industrial relations system that he created, that he created and doing Remember everything for he can to encourage the militancy of people that threaten for violence, Lord. not just against other workers, but against their children. He has no shame, no principle, no character.